going to be doing a sort of planner tour flip through. Um, before I start, I just want to apologise if you hear any background noises. Um, it's a big grassy area at the front of my house and there's lots of kids outside playing um, on their bikes and with footballs and things. So they're not very loud, but you might hear the occasional squeal of delight or something. Um, so yeah, I use five planners at the moment. I'm not going to flip through all of them because otherwise we'll be here for ages. Um, I'll mainly concentrate on the three the bluey coloured ones because they're my main ones because the white one and the red one have some sensitive stuff in but I will just show you like the dashboards and the setups on those ones as well so yeah let's get started so I've decided to start with the sort of lesser used planners that I won't show you much of the contents of um, so first this one is my sort of home planner I suppose just it has um, general information, addresses, direct debits, all that kind of thing. Um, it's an A5 Filofax Metropole, red one, as you can see. Um, so I'll just really quickly show you roughly what's inside. Just make sure that fits on screen, yeah. So I have an Emma Bridgewater pen in that side. And as you'll see, in most of my planners, I will have a pen gems type pen as well. So I've got a gold one in this one here's my dashboard it's not particularly interesting because I don't pick up this planner every day I should probably make some more effort I just have some couple paper clips some um, gems one of these I things that are, I think are smash books um, dots and stars just some project life for pretty reasons um, all the this dashboard all the dashboard and dividers are everything that you will see I have made myself um, all the ones in here has got sort of a homely theme. I just keep a shopping list here to dot, jot down, sorry, ideas that I need of things to buy. So that's the first one. I should have probably done a backing page on that one, but I didn't. Um, the first section I can open is for finances. And let me just see what I can show you here. So that's blank. Um, I have a passwords login page, so you can see company slash site, username, number, and password. Um, I don't even write my password. I put my password in code so that I understand it. So let's just say um, my password was notebook pencil case 12. I would put N dash P dash and then one two maybe or if it's a longer number I'm, that I might remember for another reason I'll just put a hint towards that so I don't put just in case something happens to this I don't put the passwords properly um, and it also has direct debits which has a very similar sheet to this in there and cleaning rotors and things and there's a page um, behind this one which I can't show you but it has household information like when rent goes out and who I need to contact if anything needs fixing things like that next section is my finances section which is sort of a subsection of the household one um, for some reason this one divider isn't laminated but yeah I think it's really pretty this one um, so I have a lot of grid paper in here. I have just trackings of financial info. I can open it here. There's a one year saving challenge, um, which I haven't actually started this year because there's no point while I'm on postgraduate funding. So this is for next year. Um, this I can, this so I've just, finances, that's for my second account. I have two accounts. Um, I only use this the second account to put money into my main account but you know I can just put the week one two three whatever it is start balance anything outgoing other outgoing incoming and end balance so you can fill one per week there the next section is my addresses section which as you will understand I cannot show you um, I can show you the page which I badly printed, as you can see. Apparently, I don't know anyone with surnames ending with these letters. <laughs> but yeah, those are the addresses. There's a subsection for pen pals. I'm just gonna cover up. 
some info really quickly. There we go. But yeah, so this is the pen pal subsection. In here, in this pocket, I keep the letters that I need to reply to. Um, as you see, I'm up to date on all my pen pals. Well done, me. And then I have all my pen pals in here. So this is one um, here. I put letter received, replied, posted, received, replied, posted. If I go to the back, I might be able to show you. This is what the info sheets I made look like. So I put the name there, where in the world they are, address, basic information, birthdays, likes, preferences, you know, whether they have kids, what animals they're into and things like that. Next section is my stationary sort of section and crafty one, which I think the divider is pretty appropriate for. Um, here I keep track of washi and where it's from. Um, I have a sort of an inventory of where I get stickers from here and then just jot down of things have information for example about like giveaways I've done and that sort of thing this last section was the sort of health and well-being section which I've now moved into its own planner so everything in here is kind of not really needed anymore I either need to just get rid of it entirely or think of the last section I need um, back here, the, you'll see this in my other Metropole, but the Metropole pockets are quite stiff. So what I did is I made these pockets to put things in and they're easy to slip in and out like this. Because if you don't have something like this, it's just a nightmare to pull anything out of the pockets. So that is my home planner. Next is my well-being planner. I'm not really and health planner. I'm not really going to go into this. Um, it's just a Webster's Pages white, um, which I really really like. And then this is just the opening dashboard. I'm just black and gold and sparkly and pretty to be inspiring to help me eat right and exercise and things like that. But it's just started, so it's not got much in it yet. Um, my sections. I never ever label my. Um, tabs by the way in case you're wondering um so the first section has let me find one that's not filled in daily pages like this which i designed which are pretty much all about food the next section has things like ex exercises like challenges in here the section after that is a diary that i keep just very occasionally just note down things that i've done health wise and what I will be putting in here is healthy meal recipes. And as you see, another sparkly pen in there that matches the theme of the planner. So these next three are my proper planners, the ones that I use all the time. Um, these two go together. This one is a satellite to this big one. So I'll show you those ones first. Um, there's not much to show in this one. I don't really decorate it or anything. It's very simple. I don't even have proper dividers in it. I've just got notes here and then to do's, which clearly I use very often. And then this is just a project life card to go to my diary. Um, I have decorated it once or twice, as you can see there, but I don't tend to do that so I just it's just really for jotting things in so I can carry it around because this one really is too big for me to carry around even though I do use it daily um, and at the back I've just got my organ donor register card for some reason and there's an appointment card back there just jot important things in there I don't have a sparkly pen in this one because it won't fit but I have a zebra expands pen This one is my baby, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Filofax Domino Patent in turquoise, which obviously this is the same, but pocket size. Um, I love this so much. She's getting pretty chunky now. Use her every day. Got these beautiful charms on. I love the mix of turquoise and gold. Oh, sorry, that's not really in shot. There they are. 
beautiful charms. So this is what I see when I open it up. Let me just, is that all in shot? Yes, it is. Um, so yeah, I don't um, really utilize front pockets for useful things. They only ever filled with pretty things really um i just got some project life cards and note cards and things and washi paper clips um the dashboard here this um let me remove these for a second this is actually the filofax dashboard that came with it and it was just a flimsy piece of paper but i thought the color worked really well so i kept it and what i did was i backed it with some pretty card stock and washi put um page what are they called hole protectors or something i don't know put the same pretty card stock there and then this is the acetate again came with the planner um, and then I just I keep those stuck together with pretty paper clips. I'll put the other ones back in a bit. Um, the only thing, oh, there's just an acetate card that I put there to look pretty. The only thing about the dominoes is they only have one pen holder, and I always like to have one black and one blue, blue pen in my planners, apart from a little one, obviously. Um, so I bought one of these Lectum. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right um pen holder things to stick there and it's great and it matches the color of this pen beautifully this pen is ember bridgewater so just a one of the postcards from a brimbles box um again all dividers made by me that they're, they're a bit they're not overly exciting in this one i want to add things like project live cards and things i just haven't got around to it yet um so the first section is just my to do section um i recently took out a bunch of stuff from this planner because it was getting a bit fat so there's only one page done here um all the inserts as well that you see in here are also all my own designed ones um apart from the filofax note paper of course but these are all made by me the next section pretty divider is my daper page so sometimes they get decorated sometimes they don't um, sometimes they don't get filled in properly as you see um, this marker is for me to go to the current day right and i also have some sort of inspiring project life journaling cards of this one today is going to be awesome one that says enjoy today so that's that section is my day per page i need to print some more off next is yearly monthly and weeklies so this is my yearly i don't really utilize this all i've done so far and that's last year anyway was put um birthdays in there's just there's not much room to write in those little boxes <laughs> Next is monthlies, which I've only just started doing this month. Um, so there's only one month to show you. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I've done an Easter theme, which was done with the Brimbles box goodies for this month. Um, but it is quite nice to just see the month at a glance like this. Um, it, it usually keep, it keeps ending up, though, that I have lots of things on one day and then loads of days that are empty. So I this day in particular, I had like 12 things to do and I could only put the most important ones in there. Um, so I need to print some more of those. Next is my weeklies, which I get to with this lovely paper clip. This one and the beautiful flower one here was sent to me by ella who is the fashionista planner on instagram and she sent me so many things and i'm just in awe of her and her generosity and i think that's the only one in these those of her paper clips in this planner but there's more in the others her paper clips are amazing and i think she has her own etsy shop or she's or she's starting one maybe soon um so i only started doing these in october and as you can see the first month i did month 
the week I did was a bit um, empty, not very well decorated because I was very new to the whole thing. But I'll flip through and you can see my decorations since then. They seem to gradually get better. Um, especially as I started buying proper weekly box kits. Birthday week, Star Wars week in December, Christmas, New Year's. I particularly like this one, I think it's lovely. Um, first week in January, I had loads of deadlines, so they're not, it's not, doesn't look like I was doing much, but I really was doing much. Um, there you go, deadlines. It says SA, it actually means SAs because there were five. Um, this is another one I really like, the mix of turquoise and gold. Just, oh, look at that sticker. Mm. Back to school theme. Unicorn theme, thanks to the Brimbles box. Walking Dead theme. I got this lovely stag stickers from Sticker Sunshine, I think. This is last week. Yes, last week. Um, this little Project Life card, I laminated and punched and then slit so you can slip it in and out, just has this inspiring quote on. Um, I usually have it in the week itself so I can look at it, but as you see, it's not go with the colour theme this week. So if it doesn't go with the colour theme, it stays in the week before, which is fine. Um, this is this week. I've got a Beauty and the Beast theme. It's another acetate card that's just there to look pretty. No other reason. So those are there, and then I never, I don't, re I never really um, decorate or plan in advance of these ones. All my advanced, you know, things that are coming up are in here, or they're in my to-do list. Um, as you see, I need to print off some more. The next section is my university section. Um, so if I open it up here, I've got a little typewriter card. Um, so this is my to-do, university to-dos. Um, they always get the green washi, whereas you saw the other ones always get the pink washi. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I need to do. Look at if I'm doing uni, uni stuff. And then next is just general uni notes and things so i'm helping out a com at a conference in a couple of months and i'm just doing some ideas for that and there'll be library lists and things in there as well and lastly is um sort of i haven't it's just general notes and things in here i've got things like instagram followers that i keep track of youtube subscribers ideas for videos and then just lots and lots and lots of beautiful notepaper. This is Filofax notepaper and I just love it so much. Um, and then this notepaper as well. Lastly is just this sort of page lifter closing dashboard, if you will. The pocket at the back, which I just have info on some when I have a, an appointment due there. I don't do anything at all with this back pocket. I probably should just decorate it a bit or something, but maybe just a couple of paper clips or something up here but right now there's nothing at all in there i did put letters and things like important uni letters and things in there but they don't send anything by letter anymore it all comes by email so there's no need so yes that is oof, my main planner my baby my darling so lastly is my sort of journal planner um it is just a journal really um it's a filofax metropole personal size obviously in kingfisher blue they do not make this anymore um i won it on ebay nearly two years ago now well a year and a half um and got a very furious bidding war for it i don't know metropoles aren't very popular but i really like them especially the colored ones um so Yes, if you see any of the colour ones on sale, like I still want the pink one and the orange one and the olive one, then let me know because I really want them all. Um, 
and some charms I have. I just have a pretty flower and a G for my name, some stars. So in here, um, I know the pen doesn't really go, but there, I couldn't find one that did, so it'll have to do. Um, in here, I've just got there's some laminated Project Life cards that I will punch and use as I want. There's just this cute little thing that one of my nieces made me. Um, there's this, which a friend bought me when she went to Ireland. I've just got a notebook in there, which I won't try and pull out because real stiff. Um, my dashboard is this sort of really nice months of the year dashboard that came in one of the Project Life kits. Um, and again, I've got one of those. Oh, there's that as well. Lectern um, um, pen loops because apparently I needed three pens in this planner. I don't know why. This is a, one of those um, ones that has all the different colours as well. Oop. It's quite hard to get out of this sometimes because I washi taped that, which was a mistake. Um, so I don't use it much because it's hard to get out. I really should change that. Um, and behind there, is, this is just, um, let me show you. This is made from a big A4 divider that I just got in a supermarket for about a pound, a big pack of them, and chopped them up into divider sides. And yeah, I use them in a lot because, you know, they're thick and sturdy and plastic and they last forever. So in here, I, as I said, I have a journal, which I have do week on two pages and just write down a couple of lines a day because I'm, I love journaling, but I'm a nightmare for doing it. Like I have my main journal here. Um, but I just, I'm really bad at sitting down and doing it and having a record of things. So this I force myself to do every day or every couple of days to write down a couple of lines and the decoration always matches what's in my main planner as well. So the themes are always the same. There's no particular reason for doing that. I just like doing it. So I'll just flip through this quickly. You might be able to recognize the patterns from the other one or the patterns, the themes, sorry. Occasionally I will, I will punch a journaling card and just put it in there for aesthetic reasons. I was very pleased with my Christmas decoration in this one. Again, just punched. I put a spoon in this one because I was drinking an awful lot of coffee because of my deadlines. As you see, can't write much. Essays are all I did. Um, same there. Just all about essays and coffee. But I always love decorating this at the end of the week and using all my little tiny stickers like these ones to fill in little gaps. But it is really nice to have a couple of lines each day. You know, you can usually fit four or five lines depending on your handwriting, obviously. And it's really nice to be able to just look back and say, I did this that day. Or I felt like this that day. So here that was last week. And there is this week. As you see, it's Sunday today. So I have yet to fill this one in and decorate it properly. And then there's the rest of the year. I use the Filofax um, Cotton Cream week on two pages. I was tempted to change to the Webster's Pages ones because they're better quality paper. But I'm one of those people I hate not using things. So maybe next year, because I just I have to use them up. I can't not. Um, other things in here I don't really use. I just but I had the dividers and I again I don't like not using things. <laughs> Become far too attached to inanimate objects. So this um, little section I've just got things like favourites, um, future plans. So there's my favourite Etsy sellers. Um, 
I've got future plans here, like this different subscription boxes I want to get. Future names for my cats, because I will be a crazy cat lady. Some spare note paper there. And then lastly is um, I just write down really beautiful quotes that I come across. So far I've managed to just do one per page, which isn't too good. I'm working on it. But yeah, that's what's in there. And then I have this, just, it's it's a sticky note actually that I laminated, um, which I've put in here to use as a sort of a page lifter, but it could also be a really, really good bookmark. And like in the other one, I have a pocket that I can pull out that has things like the whole reinforcers, that's what they're called, and market dots and things. And then the, pe the pen that's always in this pen loop, is always the pen that I'm using that week. So obviously this week I'm using blue for the theme. Last week there was a purple pen in there. The week before there was a pink pen in there. So that changes every week. So those are all my planners that I use. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and it may hopefully maybe gave you a few ideas, maybe some inspiration. Um, alternatively, if you think it's rubbish and you think I should use them better, feel free to comment and tell me. I'm always open to new ideas. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. <laughs>